Hi, in this video I'm going to be taking you through effect automation. First let's automate the volume of our drums from the previous video because I feel that the drums are a bit too loud and we can't hear the bass line. Okay, so let's get started. What we're first going to do is go add track over here in our timeline. So um, we're going to choose Cobalt because the Cobalt handles volume and we're going to go up to channel 2 because if you can see that's where the drums is plugged in. Now since we're going to w be wanting to change the volume we select volume. Okay and as you can see in our timeline there's a new slot in for our volume. If you double click that it'll put in a uh, it'll put in a bar into our time. Time to edit this bar, or in other words, automate our volume. Once we double click this bar, we can see that there is a line running through our running through. So let's just drag this region marker out so it affects the whole bar. And let's get started. This line represents how loud it's going how loud our drums are going to be with uh, the top being the loudest and let's just scroll down a bit and the bottom being the least loud so um, let's drag this square downwards to about here so our, so our drums start at about this volume let's play the song Okay, so um, let's start automating this. We can click over here, and then over here, and then over here, and it'll automatically follow the line. And if you can zoom in over here, you can see that the volume dial is already moving without you. So let's see. Alright, uh, that sounds a bit funky, so let's just keep it at the same volume. To delete these squares, you just have to click on them and click the delete button on your keyboard. Let's delete that one and um, that one. We'll just keep it at a constant volume of about here. Okay, now it's time to put an effect onto our bass line. Let's drag an, an effect of your choice from the effects into our desktop. Let's grab it. I chose the tube. Let's grab it and put it right here. Okay. Now um, let's zoom in from up here and uh, let's unplug this and unplug this. All right. Let's plug the output of our audio track into the input of our tube and the output of our tube into the input of our mixer. So now you can see that our audio track is running right through here into our uh, effect and into the mixer. So now we're ready to change the dials pretty much. So let's use this to zoom into our dials and uh, play with the uh, play with the sound. As you can see now, it's uh, now now our effect our effect has changed the sound quite a bit. So let's uh, change it. Okay, once you're happy, we are now ready to automate one. Same as before, we're going to go add track down here. So let's go add track. But this time we're going to choose the effect rather than cobalt. So that's with me tube. And then um, I'm going to go tube then drive. Okay, 
Now let's double click and drag it out. Okay, now that should affect all of my baseline. Let's, uh, let's just drag this up here so I'm able to see more. And let's play. Let's make it go like this. Make it sort of go like a like a bubble domeish shape. Should be cool. And then um actually I'll just use this region marker to go down here and this bit will be replayed. So let's play it. Uh, maybe I'll just put this one right up there. 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 Okay. Okay then. Let's double click this. It sounds. You can also go, um, let's just add a new track. Tube and active. You can also um, choose whether to show when the tube is actually going to be on and off. So let's go here. We can choose for it to be on till about here and up here. We can't really choose in the middle. It's only an on and off setting so we'll just show in square form. But um, well, let's just play it. Okay, let's delete that, it doesn't really sound good, but uh, just for the sake of learning. Okay, well, I hope you learned from this video and be ready to modify your tracks to your liking. See you next time.